abdominal community. Now, a lot of you were really confused by this trick in my last video, and I kind of predicted this when I made this video during my gap year, so I made a tutorial and I'm gonna show you how I made this, because you can do so many different tricks with it, and then you can build it as well. Now, this is a new trick that I invented called Sonaverse, which combines the trick Sonamod and Reverminos. And essentially, it's just like a normal Sonamod line, except you have reverse falling dominoes on top of it. All right. Step 1. Start stacking the dominoes that you want to put on the bottom and lay them on their sides. Step 2. Get a straight edge or a yardstick and then make sure that the base is even. Step 3. Get a normal pack of scotch tape or clear tape and cut it to the size of a square. I find it a lot faster to cut off like 3 or 4 pieces at a time instead of doing one taping, one placing on the domino, and then going back to cut more. This way you can just like assembly line style it and do a lot more at once. Step 4. Take that piece of tape and put half of it on the domino and half of it hanging off the edge. Step 5. Carefully place this domino on top of 4 dominoes that make up the base. It helps if you lift up the tape from the bottom as you're trying to find the middle of it. And make sure that the tape is actually wide enough that it'll stick to all four of the dominoes on the bottom. Otherwise, it could just come off. Step six, repeat this a bunch of times until you have as many modules as you want to build with. Step seven, so to make the Sonomers domino technique, start with the Sonomod technique with just two normal dominoes, one horizontal one and one leaning against the next. And then you can start placing the modules for the Sonomers trick. And this is just to make sure that the beginning always works because the block of four dominoes might be too heavy for it to actually knock over with the domino line. And always make sure that each module is on the edge of the next one. Once you're done your project, just set up a domino line at the very beginning and you're good to go. So that is how you make a Sonaverse domino trick. This is a really cool trick. I'm surprised this wasn't even invented before to be honest. But yeah, if you use it, tweet me some videos of it. I'd love to see what you come up with with all of your creations. It's fairly new, so I'm excited to see what you can do with it. Next week's video, I'm gonna have a huge Sonaverse domino project, so stay tuned for that. Here is a preview coming next week. I hope this helped you. Use it in your projects, tweet me your videos, and I'm Hevish5 and I'll see you next Saturday. Yeah. <laughs>